I look that bad, boss? No. It's just, you know, that bullet was meant for me. It's always next time. I need you in one piece. Do you understand me? Are you mad at me? Yes, I'm furious. You die, and I'm lost. So I'm better off taking the bullet, okay? So next time, how about I get shot, and you feel like an idiot? Deal? How about next time? Nobody gets shot. We all go out for a beer. That's fine by me. Because this, this does not work for me. I don't want to see you in this bed again. That's because you love me. Not at, not at the moment. Take off for a while, go see Gigi. Well, you know what? You you should probably go check on, on Roxy too. Yeah, I don't know. Things have been a little weird since I found out she's not my mother. Okay, so make them not weird. How? Do I have to do all of the work? Come on, go go hug her. Go go annoy her. Just go be her son. Go. I guess it's just you and me. All right. Just because I love you, man. Okay, I'll call first. Is the seat taken? I don't think there's any easy way to break up with someone. Not that I have any experience. Guess I have to tell them all about Ford, huh? It'd be better if he heard it from you. Yeah, I guess I owe him that. When are you gonna tell him? He's on his way home. You mean today? Yeah. Like right now? Yeah. Wait, no, you don't have to go. I definitely have to go, Frank. Oh my god, you're right. Everything's gonna change. Could have moved back to Aunt Dorian's? I didn't even think about that. Well, it wouldn't be fair for us to kick Marco out. No, no, of course not. <laughs> I'm sure his parents will be thrilled to see the last of me. But, um, I, I can't move back to Dorian's. You need to stay somewhere. You're not thinking about moving in with Ford, are you? He hasn't even asked me yet. You wouldn't move in with him? Well, I, I moved in with Marco, and you moved in with Cole. I mean, I have to do what feels right, and this feels right. I work alone. John, this is my mother we're talking about. Which means you're emotionally involved, which means you'll make mistakes. We can't risk that. Fine. Then I'll go out there on my own. And no doubt make silly mistakes with my ignorant questions and bad timing. Yeah, I'll keep her on the straight and narrow, John. All right, kiddo? It's just you and me now. John doesn't want to leave Marty alone anyway, not in her delicate condition. Well, that it's any of your business that Marty's fine with me going to California. Well, you have no jurisdiction. I've been credentialed to investigate any crime that ties into our ongoing investigation of Mitch Lawrence and Allison Perkins. Great. Then we're all set. No, I don't think so. Do you forget who you work for? Me. You set one foot out of Lambie. You're fired. You know what? I changed my mind. Kelly, you can come with me. McBain! Yeah, and thanks to my contract, I have several personal days coming my way. I have to stop by the hospital. Bo just woke up. Enjoy. I'm going to pack a bag, and I will meet you at the airport. See you there. Bye, Todd. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Where's everybody going? Nowhere. If I have anything to say about it. I have to stay here. Renounce your claim to Sierra. See you in Statesville. Thank you. For everything. Hey, you, take it easy. He's just doing his job. We'll do it nicer. Hey, Greenlee. 
Will you give them a moment alone? Thanks. Listen, Sky. It's not too late. You tell the judge you made a mistake. You want to change your plea. Well, it wasn't a mistake. It's the first thing I've gotten right in a long time. Tyler pled guilty. They're sending him to Statesville. Gigi, I'm so sorry for everything, but most of all, for making you worry for Sierra, okay? And no matter what happens, I know you're going to be a great mother to her. You are. I know it.